Hello, my name's Steve Hargrave and welcome to the 60 Second Raw. It's the quiz show where you literally have a minute to win it. And yes, this is the Christmas special, although I am not being paid enough to wear a stupid jumper. I'm going to leave that to today's contestants. The two lucky people we have in the red and blue teams will scrap it out over a series of questions to see who will walk away with the coveted 60 Second Raw trophy. Wow, I mean, that really is, as you probably can imagine, the prize of the highest quality. Literally, all the budget has been spent on that prize. So today's winner can going to be very lucky. Now, we've seen what's at stake. Let's go meet this week's two victims or lucky contestants. Depends on how you see it. Who are going to bravely go into battle. First up in the red team, we have Lucy. How are you feeling, Lucy? I'm feeling good. Feeling confident. You are feeling confident? Yes. You think you're going to walk this? I hope so. No, I like a little bit of confidence. Well, let's find out a little bit more about Lucy and who she is. Hi, my name is Lucy. I'm 19 years old and I go to University in London, North Greenwich, and I'm from Suffolk. I currently work at Autosport International, where I do Formula One line producing, but I used to work at Playboy, an adult TV channel, producing as well. My interests include going to cinema, watching films, um, watching TV shows, kind of binge watching series, just chilling out and watching films, basically. So my friend Lucy loves films, she never really stops talking about them and watching them. She always insists on putting a film on and we always watch like kind of weird films together. I'm on the show because I want to challenge myself and I want to win the trophy. Ah, so we have a bit of a film fan in our midst today. What's your favourite kind of movies? Probably scary films or dramas, so like Psycho, things like that. Oh, Psycho. It's a bit too scary for me. You'll be hoping some movie questions come up today yes. then. You better get them right. Nice to meet you, Lucy. Thank Lovely you. jumper, by the Thanks. way. Of course, one contestant alone doesn't make a game show. Sensibly, we've opted for a second team. Don't say we don't spoil you with this gentleman. Playing for the blue team tonight is George. How are you feeling, George? I'm feeling pretty good. Even though we've got some fighting talk over there from the red corner? Yeah, no, you see, I was a bit nervous, but then I saw who it was, so, you know, now I'm feeling pretty good in myself. Oh, that's going to be scrappy today, isn't it? Well, let's find out a little bit more about who this confident gentleman is. Hi, I'm George. I'm 19, I go to Ravensbourne University, and I'm from Surrey, but I'm now in London. I work in the West Ham Stadium in the Olympic Park. Basically my job is to set, help set up for football matches or the concerts that play there. Probably my best hobby is um, using my skateboard because it's, I mean, it's just so much fun to sort of ride on because it's really bouncy, it's got a lot of speed, a lot of power behind it. Um, and not just commuting here, but I take it off road and going off all these like bumps and jumps and all this. You get really dirty, but it's just so worth it. So I'm friends with Nicole, who was one of the previous contestants, and just hearing about her experience, how much fun it was to be on the show, I thought it's just an opportunity I can't miss. The advice I would give George is to not question yourself. If you think you know the answer, go for it. And don't smack the buzzers too hard. I will do a trip from one town to another, showing off the trophy and letting the townspeople uh, high five me. So we've got a bit of a skate dude on the show this evening in the shape of George. George, that is not a skill that's going to help you one ounce on a quiz show. No, it's not. Do you have any other skills that you're going to bring to the fore tonight? No. 
Do you have any confidence at all in the fact that you might be able to answer yeah, some questions? Yeah, no, I'm very confident in myself, and in the end, that's what matters. Right, well, incredible fighting talk there from George. At least you've got a nice Christmas hat on, that's Thank all you. I can say. Right, we're all acquainted. I think we should probably move away from this extraordinarily cosy atmosphere and actually do some quizzing, because that's why we're here. It's time for a round that we've cunningly called the first round. Right, well, just like me, this first round is incredibly simple, so bear with me. We will, of course, be asking you general knowledge questions in turn, and it's your job to answer as many as you can, because that's really how quiz shows tend to work. But always remember the 60-second rule. You can be asked anything. An example of a question is, what's brown and sticky? That's a stick, apparently, and that's what happens when the producer comes up with these questions down the pub. Or it might be something much more intellectual, like what's the capital of Northern Ireland, and that is, of course, Belfast, much more simple. So it could be anything. Be ready for that, OK. We're going to start with the red team today, so that's you, Lucy. Are you ready? Yeah. OK, let's get ready. Let's get the clock up. And three, two, one. What is the sum of two plus two minus one? Three. Correct. James Corden wrote which popular TV show airing in 2007? Pass. It was Gavin and Stacey. Which stadium in the UK has the highest capacity, Twickenham or Old Trafford? Uh, Twickenham. Correct. Which British Tudor monarch reigned from 1491 to 1547? Henry VIII. Correct. Rafiki, Timon and Zazu are all characters from which Disney musical? Mulan. No, it's the Lion King. How many stars are on the flag of China? Five. Correct. What was the second film in the Harry Potter series? A pass. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. What type of drink is vodka, gin and whiskey? Pass. It's a spirit. How many players are on each team in a football match? Eleven. Correct. How many letters are in the alphabet? Twenty-six. Correct. Just squeeze that in because we are out of time. That was pretty good. How did you feel that went? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty confident. You apparently got six. That's not, that's not so bad. Well done. A very strong start from Lucy as we move over to the blue team. And George, are you quivering in your boots over there? I mean, it's shaking me a bit, but I think I'll be all right. OK, well, let's see what the Quizmaster questions have come up for you on today's show. We're going to start the clock in three, two, one. What is the name of the motorway circling London? Pass. It's the M25. Which country came top of the 2016 Olympic Games medal table? China? No, nope, it was the USA. Pennywise, the dancing clown, appears in which Stephen King film released in 2017? It. Correct. What is the official currency of Turkey? Pass. It's Turkish lira. What two colours make green? Red and blue? No, it's yellow oh. and blue. Which is the largest planet in our solar system? <laughs> Jupiter. Correct, finally. Real Madrid beat which Italian club in the final of the 2017 Champions League? No clue, pass. <laughs> it's Juventus. <laughs> what is the name of a baby kangaroo? Uh, um, I don't want to say Roo. I'm going to say Roo. It's not, it's a joey. <laughs> which land mammal has the longest tail? Um, mm, uh, no clue. That's a giraffe. And what colour is the L in the... Oh, we've run out of time, I'm afraid, wow. which is probably best to save you further <laughs> embarrassment. Dare I ask how well you thought that went? I think that went better than it could have. <laughs> better than it could have yeah. translated means you scored two points. So I think we know who the winner of the first round there. Don't worry, though. There is time, of course, to make that up as we head towards the next rounds. So congratulations, Lucy. I think it's fair to say you easily won that first round. How'd you feel? Yeah, I feel great. Pretty excited. George, mm. don't worry, mate, because there's plenty of time to still make that up, OK? OK. Don't look so <laughs> sad. It's Christmas. It breaks my heart, OK? Stop doing it. Uh, okay. For the first round, we decided to go with a round that we're going to call round two, just to keep that momentum going. This round is slightly different because our contestants get to choose a category of their own choice, which means they have no excuses if they mess up. And George, because we feel sorry for you, you're going to go first this time, OK? But before we start, let's find out what category George has chosen. OK. For my one, I'm picking pop music. 
Pop music then, George. That's an interesting choice. I uh, didn't have you down as a, a fan of the pop. I, um, no, I, th I think I'm quite good up to date with the charts, so I should be... I, I, th I think I'll, uh, this is going to be the strongest category. I've OK, well, let's not waste any more time with your mumbling. Let's oh. crack on with these questions. This is the important round for you. Round two, make it happen. Remember the 60-second rule. Let's start okay. the clock in three, two, one. Louis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee are responsible for which track that took the world by storm in 2017? No idea, passed. Despacito, oh. who had a 2017 hit with Chain to the Rhythm? No idea, passed. Katy Perry, which member of One Direction released Sign of the Times in 2017? Harry Styles. Correct. Which Little Mix hit begins, You and I and Nobody Else, Feeling Feelings I Never Felt? Pass. It's Touch. How many 2017 Grammy nominations did Paramore's After Laughter receive? Five. It's zero. Oh. <laughs> which grime <laughs> artist is, is behind the multiple Queen's Speech songs? Pass. <laughs> Lady Lazur, that's mine and yours favourite. Which band member left Fifth Harmony in late 2016 to pursue a solo career? Um. Come on, come on. Graham. <laughs> Camilla Cabello, which former Disney Channel band returned in 2017? No clue. <laughs> Ali and AJ, what song ended Havana's five-week reign at number one on the official, though we've come to an end. I think it's probably best we don't get you to answer that one. How do you think you did there, George? I think I did extremely well. I think I've won this. I've got this in the bag. It will come as a surprise to you and I and the viewers watching that you scored a massive one point. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? But, you know, it's Christmas, so we're going to try and be positive for you, George. Let's ask that question if Lucy can do any better. I think we might know the answer to that one already. Are you feeling much more confident after that? Definitely. Yeah. OK, well, let's see what your chosen category is. I have chosen technology. So Lucy, you have chosen technology as your specialist subject for this round. Good luck. Let's start getting into those questions now on the 60 second rule. Let's start the clock in three, two, one. What six colors can you buy an Apple iPod Touch seventh generation in? Black, silver, white, pink. Blue, green. That's incorrect. Silver, gold, grey, pink, blue and red. What is the largest capacity for an Apple iPod Touch? 64 gigabytes. It's 128 gigabytes. Oh. Name three different Apple products. iPod Touch, iPod Nano and a MacBook. Correct. Who was in charge of Apple when the iPhone was invented? Steve Jobs. Correct. What does WWW actually stand for? World Wide Web. Correct. How many bits are there in a byte? 16. It's eight. Um, what was created on March 2006 by Jack Dorsey? The MacBook. No, it was Twitter. Um, Which letter key comes last, bottom row, far right, on a computer keyboard? Y. It's M. Um, what is the name of the app store for Android? Repeat the question, please. What's the name of the app store for Android? Oh, we're out of time. No idea. It's just on the tip of your tongue. Yeah, obviously. As we there. Well, you have done better than George, that's not mm -hmm. a surprise. You managed to get five points correct in that round, so congratulations, well Thank done. Thank you. Okay, in this round you have 60 seconds to answer questions from a category that have been chosen by our show's producer. He's a little bit odd, so I have to warn you, these questions could be a little bit bizarre, okay? I don't know the genre, no one knows, any three of us don't know it. Both of you can use your buzzers though. If you hear a question that you think you know the answer to, buzz away. But if you get the wrong answer, the other contestant can butt in and they can steal the point. So make sure you know before you press the buzzer. Either of you could win this, even you, George. Yes, you even you. Your Christmas dreams could come true. You could be today's winner. Let's go see what the secret subject is in the envelope. OK, this is that very exciting high-tech moment when I reveal a piece of card from a very cheap paper envelope. It's all we can afford on this show. And a very tense moment as we reveal the subject for the final round is the theme of Disney movies. That seems like an okayish reaction from both of you. Lucy, good with Disney? I mean, it's better than, better than other things, yeah. Better than other things? Yeah. That's very wise words. Yeah. George, you a big fan of Disney? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I've watched the odd film, yeah. I've heard at karaoke you like to do a bit of a mean I, Lion King. 
how did you how did you find that out? Uh, <laughs> There's the internet. The videos are on the internet. We've oh, all seen them. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad about that. <laughs> so basically, I'm saying anything is to play for because you're both big fans of Disney. Now, Lucy, as you've already won the previous two rounds, it means you do go into this round already with a two point advantage. As we head into this buzzer round, it's extraordinarily tense. Let's get to it. No time wasting. The last round of the 60 second rule. Let's start the clock in three, two. One, which Disney princess wears trousers rather than a dress? Lucy. Mulan? No. George, any ideas? No idea. Okay, what colour? It's Jasmine. What colour are Mickey Mouse's shorts? Lucy? Red. Correct. What is Cinderella's slipper made of? George just scraped in. Gloss. Correct. In the Jungle Book, what animal is Shere Khan? George? Leopard. Not quite right, Lucy, and it is? Pass. It is a tiger. What is the name of Donald Duck's girlfriend? George? Not what I was going to say. I pass. <laughs> correct, Lucy, any ideas? Pass. That is Daisy Duck. What is the colour of Yoda's lightsaber in Star Wars? Green. Correct. What year was Lion King released? 1998. No, George? No idea. No idea, it was 1994 The Lion King was released in theatres, of course, went on to play Oscars. Well, that is the end of that round, and indeed, today's episode of the 60 Second Rule, we can reveal who the big winner of today's show is. And that winner is Lucy. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel great. I, I thought I'd win, and I did, so. Well, always fighting talk from the beginning, but you yep. came through with it and actually emerged victorious. George, bad luck, mate. I did my best, and that's what matters. Exactly. Did you have fun just taking part? You know what, I, I'm just happy to be here. Oh, that's nice, mate. We'll <laughs> give you a chew fair home. That's all you're going to get. Thank you. <laughs> well, Lucy, you'll be pleased to know that exciting moment has arrived when you get to come forth and claim your prize. Step over this way. Here it is, the highly sought after, lucrative, and probably a few of these already floating around on eBay, 60 second rule trophy made out of pure plastic. You deserve that. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Where are you going to put that? In my bathroom. That's, that's probably the exact place that it belongs, to be honest with you. George, thank you for coming along. Thanks for taking part. Well, that <laughs> is it, I'm afraid, from our very special festive edition of 60 Second Rule. And if it wasn't what you wanted, too bad, because we've thrown the receipt away, so you can't take it back to the shop this year, I'm afraid. Do join us next time when we'll have two more contestants battling for that trophy. In the meantime, have yourself a merry Yule, and thank you for joining us on the 60 Second Rule. <laughs>